So for exercise seven, I want to, before I, um, before I start using my markers, is just think a little bit about how I'm going to do this rendering. Um, you want to plan before you start placing marker on the page because once the marker's there, you can't erase it. Um, because this section is the highest point, I'm going to try and make that as light as <clears throat> excuse me as light as possible, and then gradually uh, get darker as I work my way down towards this line here. This is a concave surface, so and it is cylindrical, so light will hit this shape in here and it will get progressively darker as it gets closer to this edge um, over here. This area here will be fairly light in colour um, because it's fairly flat. So I'm going to start with my W1 chisel nib and working on the flat areas first. So that will I'll just spin my page. That will become one area of flat color, and then over to this side. And I'm pressing a little bit with the chisel end, just so that it drags that ink, and I can pick it up as I go. trying to keep that marker work as smooth as possible. Okay, so this area here, I'm going to try and keep this area fairly light and um, I can still put marker there, but not to go over it too, too much. and in here as well. Now I'm going to use a combination of W2 and my W1 to blend. I might use the chisel nib. and my W1. And in here, a W2. and blending with the W1. You can also add some W3. I'm just going to use the fine nib just along that edge.
Okay, and then this edge W3. And this edge over here at W2. So that's about all the marker that I need on that rendering.